Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to do this hairstyle that I wore in London recently. So to get started, I have my hair in a middle part, and I am wearing my 24 inch long extensions, which obviously is going to help a lot with length and thickness for this hairstyle. If you have thin hair like I do, then I definitely recommend getting some extensions for this style because you do kind of need a lot of hair. So to get started, you're just going to take three small sections from one side of your part and you're going to start to do a regular Dutch braid. And the only thing different is you're going to stop incorporating hair from the outside pieces when you get about an inch above your ear. And then you'll just continue to do the braid the entire length of your hair. When I get about halfway done with my braid, I like to start pulling it apart and then finish the rest of my braid and then pull the bottom half apart after. This just makes it a little bit easier and you don't have to pull as hard on each section. And then for the top, I like to spray some hairspray and then that kind of helps to just hold them in place and it makes it a little safer pulling them apart. You don't pull anything out too much. Then you'll just do the exact same thing on the other side. Now for the back, you're just going to take your hair and you're going to split it into two sections. So you're just going to kind of cut it in half. And then for the bottom section, you can just pull that to one side so it's out of your way. And we're going to be doing a fishtail. So we're starting the fishtail in back. You're just obviously going to take one piece and pull it over to the other side and keep doing that with each side until you get about three inches down and then you can pull it to this side and finish so that your arms aren't dying because I can never do a full fishtail with my arms back there. So this is when I brought mine to the side and like I said this just makes it easier. My arms were dying. So once you get started with it you can bring it around to the side and finish your fishtail. And I'm doing really small sections for this just because this one I want it to look pretty intricate. And then you can pull it apart and make it as big as you want. Then you'll just pull that one to the side and take the bottom section. And this one we're going to start the exact same. So you're just going to start doing a regular fish tail and pull it pretty tight. But then when we pull it over to the side, we're going to kind of change it up a little. Once you've gone a couple inches down doing a tight fish tail, you can bring it to the side and we're just going to take big, big sections and pull them over. It'll basically turn into a three strand braid just because it does if you use too big of sections with a fishtail. So essentially you're just doing a really loose braid 
and then we're going to pull this one apart a ton. The reason we do the tight fishtail is just to hold it in place on up top. Otherwise it just gets too loose and it starts to look weird. When you're done with this braid, before you put the rubber band in, go ahead and pull it apart a lot. I made mine really loose just because I really liked the contrast of having a loose braid and a tight fishtail wrapped around each other. So make it really loose. Then you're going to go in back and you're just going to twist these braids around each other and you can just roughly twist them and then you're going to secure it with a rubber band at the bottom and then we can go through and kind of tweak it and bobby pin it in place to make it just how we want it to be. So as you can see, I went and checked in the mirror and I didn't like how this piece was sticking out. So I'm just pulling that underneath and I'll pin it in place. And then I didn't have a mirror when I was doing this, so I didn't realize that that made another weird loop. So after this next part, I went and fixed that. But you guys will have a mirror, so you can look at it and just make sure it's exactly how you want it. And you'll just secure your bobby pins underneath the braid and no one will ever see them. And then with the two braids, you're just going to pin them in place on the back of your head. If your hair is really long like mine with the ends, you'll see what I do here in a minute, but you'll just kind of tuck them underneath the other braids or, I don't know, you just kind of tuck them away places and <laughs> make sure they're not showing, but it doesn't really matter where you do it. So then I went in and just twisted my braid more and bobby pinned it in place. And like I said earlier, I didn't have a mirror in the back so I couldn't see what was going on in the back. But it does make it easy if you have like one mirror in front and one mirror in back so you can kind of see what you're doing as you go. But I didn't. I'm just kind of showing you guys this so you get the whole process of it. But after that, you are pretty much done. This is the hairstyle. I did wear a headpiece. And mine was from Zara and so I just clipped that in in front but you can see my two little gems on it I guess you could say it fell off when we were traveling but if you were to put it in you'd put it in just like that and then you are all done give this a thumbs up if you liked it I'll see you next time